Hi everyone! Today I'll be showing you guys how to do the hole punching on the perceptual ability of the DAT. So the very first thing I do when I see one of these problems is I draw my grid. So go ahead and draw the grid right here. It's a 4 by 4. So you can quickly draw that on your piece of paper on the exam. The next thing I do is I always take a look at fold 1. And looking at fold 1 I can see what the final axis of symmetry is. So here we see in this particular problem that the axis of symmetry that I'm drawing right here is right in the middle of the square. So looking at our answer choices, I'm going to take a look and make sure that they all have that axis of symmetry. And I'm just drawing that across the board. And then I'm going to take a look at my answer choices. And I'm going to say, okay, in A, I do not have an axis of symmetry. For it to have an axis of symmetry, this should have been a solid um, black circle, not a white one. So we can eliminate A. B does have an axis of symmetry across the middle, just like as we expect in fold 1. C does have it. D uh -oh, does not. We can eliminate D. E does not have that axis of symmetry right in the middle. We can eliminate E. And just like that, in less than 5 seconds, we have eliminated 3 of the 5 answer choices. So if we had to guess, we would have a 50-50. Now we're going to take a look at B and C and see why one of them is correct while the other one is not. So the very first thing I do, or I guess the second thing I do, is I look at that hole punch. And I'm going to go ahead and draw an X where the hole punch is. Then it also appears that I have a hole punch here, but looking further along I see that I actually don't have a hole punch there because the paper is not there, it's just the dashes. So I usually put the letter E to just mark myself that um, there should be a hole punch eventually, but at the moment there's not. So that, that tells me there. Then the next thing I do is I take a look at this fold, and then I see that they just unfolded it in half. So I'm going to draw the next axis of symmetry like this. And I knew that I have my hole punch there. It's going to open up, and then that's where I have the letter E. It's going to open up, and I'm going to have a hole punch below and below on this one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on my grid, a hole punch here, and my half hole punch here. Then this opens up. See how this square, this uh, triangle is going to open up like this? That's my X. It's going to open up. This is still nothing. And then of course my final fold that we already talked about is right in the middle and everything above should reflect at the bottom. So we're going to have hole punches here and here as well as here. What answer choice does this look like? C. C is the correct answer. One thing that I recommend you guys do when you're doing a difficult or challenging hole punching problem is to go ahead and cut a square sheet of paper and fold out your folds and do your hole punches. So here's the problem that we just did and this is an example. So here are our hole punches. This is fold number three. This is fold two, and then you fold it like this, and we can confirm that the correct answer is C.